let's just keep it simple. Hello, everyone. I'm I'm the animal, and I'm joined with Lemming Rush. He is from Canada, where they eat syrup from trees, and they like to pour gravy on their chips, right? Fries. Fries. Yeah, yeah chips. Chips is fries. Same thing. Okay. Yeah, we do drink maple syrup. Tree blood. Okay. Tree blood. Yeah. And we have decided to talk about some things, and today's topic is why are good players hated in World of Tanks? Do you think that the good players are hated in World of Tanks? Oh, yeah, certainly. <laughs> of course. I mean, but yeah, absolutely. Do you think that everyone is hated? I think that the popular streamers are not hated as much, but I think the toxic good players are more hated yeah, by the general masses. Yeah, I don't think it's... um. Yeah, I would I would say that. Okay, let's let's get down. Let's let's try to let's not be too general. Let's say why do you think that this game has so much toxicity? Because every online game, every game that has a chat window is toxic. Every game. There's no exception in this mm -hmm. on this world, right? Yeah, I mean you find that in CSGO or anything. I I think well, so you so you were talking about toxicity before we started recording. Yeah. Um in general, I think that, well, I think you said it, like, in general, good players are going to be more toxic than the average players because they simply take the game more seriously. Does that? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. They want to win more. They, mm -hmm. they get more enjoyment by winning more and by winning less. If they win less, they're going to get very frustrated, very toxic. They're gonna get frustrated way way faster than let's say a casual player that just logs in, plays two games at, for a day, and then just goes out. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's it's just simply a result of them trying. I d I don't know if it's necessarily good players who are only toxic. I think it's people who try, who are like yeah, you know, if you're working on your car and you don't want to screw up, you immediately start swearing way more, <laughs> you know, for example. <laughs> Um, exactly. Just putting effort into something makes people more toxic, I think. So, what are the like? What do you think are the main things that make you toxic in this game? For me, is my personal number thing that I get toxic about is the map rotation. Simply by playing the same map over and over gets me frustrated, and then I lash out on unsuspecting victims. Yeah. Um, I'd say this. I'd say it's things that you can't fight against reasonably well so like map rotation like let's pretend you play mountain pass and you're trying to three mark a t100 lightweight or something that's pretty frustrating especially if you play light tanks yeah yeah exactly you know for example because that's that's the obvious and then you know um as a result of people trying already becomes way more frustrating because you can't really fight against it but you know we discussed it there's not much that's really gonna happen to rd you know okay yeah um and then also, yeah, I agree with you, maps. Maps just, they don't really facilitate, they're good for specific types of vehicles on average. Like maps like Mountain Pass, only good for heavies, you know? Yeah. Um, maps like Tundra, same thing. There's just tons of maps in the game that are only good for specific types of vehicles. So then when you get on it, it's like you're, you're frustrated just the second the game starts because, you know, you got- What do you think about RNG? Can that piss you off? Yeah, I, okay. Personally, RNG doesn't frustrate me as much because I simply shoot again, you know? Yeah. Um, it's kind of like there's nothing you can do about it. It's equal for everyone, if that makes sense. You can play tanks that mitigate RNG, yeah. but, you know... Um, yeah, but how do good players try to minimize RNG? What do they do? They usually load uh, premium ammo, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Premium consumables. Yeah. They play in better tanks. I mean, I don't remember last time seeing anyone in a CDC. <laughs> or like, how often do you see good players playing? I don't know, ISU 152. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I really don't know. Very rarely. Yeah, I think. I think that you're right. Um, the game. And do you think that piss? I'm sorry. Do you think that pisses off people? Because good players want to win more, and by if you want to win more, you need all the best you can get. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I think, okay, so I think this is a justifiable reason as to why good players get, like, a lot of hate. It's, you're, you're right on. I think that what happens is good players will buy things, okay, here, this is how I see it happens. Good players buy, like, premium tanks to pay for things that reduce RNG, in general, 
That's that's how okay, I yeah. see it. Does that that sounds reasonable? They buy premium it tanks. I, I, it, the first thing that pops into my mind is the defender. If you're playing tier eight clan wars on a global map, well, basically a defender is the way to go, I guess. If you want to be good, right? In which case you can like compete and make credits to fund your gold spamming in exactly in tier tens or whatever. Um, I think that well, it's it's. I think the reason that people dislike good players generally as a result of World of Tanks being kind of pay to win. I'd like, I think that's yeah, reasonable. You basically need to put everything that's the best, mm -hmm. even though it costs a lot of credits. Yeah. You need to put it if you want to maintain that uh, high win ratio, high damage per game and everything. Yeah, yeah. And I think the reason that that's needed is because of the RNG. Yeah, you want to mitigate and try to minimize the, the effect of RNG. You want to pen every time. You don't want to bounce off a tank that you're certain you're going to pen and then yeah. RNG is go, goes low and then you bounce and then you get frustrated and then you lash out on a poor unsuspecting victim. Maybe you write something nasty and there we go, like a vicious circle. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't justify toxicity, but it, I think it's certainly a cause. Um, I think that, like, so why do people give hate to good players is the question. I think that a lot of it comes out of the fact that World of Tanks is pay to win. And to an extent, you do have to pay some sort of money if you actually want to have high stats. Like, World of Tanks markets themselves as free to play, but they're really not. There's like a base, the game costs like, you need a premium account, for example, to actually be a good player. There's no <laughs> tier 10 clan wars player without a premium account. You know, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, what were you gonna say? You you can debate that you can get uh, you can get gold via clan wars, but that's I think that's reserved for the top top twenty percent of the clans that you that they get gold and you can get credits and strongholds and stuff. But most of the guys take the easy route and just I don't know, just buy something or yeah, get a nice premium time. You you could say you could get gold from clan wars and stuff like that but i think that's not how do you get into clan wars without spending money you need money? to be a good one you need to be a good player if you want to join a good clan yeah and, and to be a good player you need to what we just own discussed. a premium own a premium account own a premium tank like at least Try one. Hard. yeah yeah exactly become and toxic yeah you, you imagine you're a casual player you get in the game you get spammed mm -hmm. you get spammed by premium ammo the next game again 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 Pretty soon you you load up you load up XVM and you see that the the guys are blue, yeah. purple, whatever, yeah. and then you start uh, confirmation bias. You know you only see when purples shoot premium ammo at you, even though everybody does that. Well, okay, let's let's flip this around because you could say that, like I don't know, if, I'm just thinking, would removing RNG make people less toxic? Would making no. maps better make people less toxic? You know, like that would no. be one. It One. wouldn't. It would make the game better. Yes. Yeah. But less toxic. No. No. People. But they still... hate good players. Yes, I think yes, because if there was no RNG, the guys that have really excellent aim, that guys that have good reflexes, good map knowledge, situational awareness, would be better off. Simply as that. Just look at any other game like Dota, or, I don't know, yeah. Counter-Strike. Yeah, Counter-Strike. I, I agree. Okay, so one of the reasons that I think people need Gold Sam is simply because you can have perfect aim and your shot won't go where you're aiming at. And you will bounce because of the dispersion yeah. and the penetration values. Exactly. So maybe you have 250 pen, it might drop yeah. by 50. You know, you might get 200 pen and bounce the lower plate of an E100. Even though you aim perfectly. Exactly. Like pixel perfect. And Or maybe you're shooting an E100 who's unmoving at 350 meters and you're standing still. Your shot can still miss Yeah. if, if you're aimed perfectly. So what did they do? They changed the dispersion so that it doesn't go to the center as often. Yeah, I think Wargaming did that so that they get more That's money off of heat. Purpose. Yeah. No, you want to you want to bounce. They, I think they like more armor, more bounces equals more uh, more shots fired, and people sooner or later stop playing with regular ammo. They just want a pen. Nobody has time to bounce every shot. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Exactly. It's like the reason. So, well, <laughs> why do you think that? Just just a question. This is kind of confirmed by the size of the weak spots on the 268 version 4, you know? Okay. The weak spots on the 268 version 4 are impossible to hit with skill. 
You you cannot be a good player and hit them consistently. Like in my opinion, they're just too small. Do you think in other games like good players that go online competitions, like uh, offline tournaments in Dota, CS:GO, and other games, do you think they are uh, that? at the average player hates them no. because I have seen in so many threads when it came to announcement of the Wargaming League and every time it was announced there was a thread forum and on those thread forums people hated everyone basically if it boiled down to oh look a premium spamming team versus a premium spamming team basically they hated the whole thing right so you're saying the average comment on any sort of competitive discussion like on a discussion in relationship to competitive play it's just it oh it's gold negative. spammers versus gold spammers or it was just negative in some way yeah. yeah but mostly it was about gold spamming yeah so so that kind of implies like i'm just thinking about this that kind of implies that if there was no so what that means is that the average um player's opinion about gold spam is that it's pay to win kind of like that's yeah. my understanding okay and then the next thing is that um they feel that if they simply paid more money at the game they'd be good at it so there's like resentment in there somewhere there's a lot of resentment yeah yeah, yeah. i agree but it's Even also justifiable people, yeah yeah it, it is it is there's always two sides to every story you can if there's a good player he's gonna go a completely free to play account if he goes the right tanks if he goes grind the right tanks he's gonna have good stats even though he's not gonna spend a single dime but still if he, but if he goes on bad tanks, then he's going to have a bad time. He's going to be shit. His stats are going to go down, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, that's that's the case. I mean, um, I think that lately it's totally like, okay, I don't know what you think about the 268 version 4, but do you consider it overpowered? What do you think, honestly? What yeah, do you okay. think? I, Just it's, making sure. It's retarded. Of course it's, it's retarded. retarded. Right. I think that it's kind of pay to win. Like, I think that... The average player has more and more reason to hate people who spend money on the game uh, or obscene amounts. Like, I don't know how much money it would cost to free XP to a 268 version 4, but probably like $150, you know, or like 100 let's euros. Just, let's say, yeah, let's just say it 100. Yeah. 100 euros, okay. The average player, like most people can't afford to drop 100 euros on a tank, but, you know, people can drop 100 euros on a 268 version 4, and if they're a 49% win rate, they go to 57% win rate in that tank. And yeah. suddenly it's pay to win. You know, like it's... He becomes a better player if you think about it because 57% win ratio is actually very good. Yeah. And seeing someone in a tank like that, with a very win ratio like that, you fucking hate him and you're going to write something toxic to him. Yeah, or you, or if you're me, you make a video about him. <laughs> yeah, we make a video about the tank. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I agree. And I think that... I, I think that a lot of the hate towards upper upper echelon players in this game comes from a result of the game being simply pay to win. You know, like in, in CSGO, no one says, oh, I don't know, Flesha, who's known, you know, who gets locked, lots of hacking complaints or whatever. Oh, Flesha's a pay to win player. It's like, no, that's impossible. Yeah. That that can't happen. For Dota, you, you can buy skins and shit like that in other <laughs> games. But over here, you can buy a tank. Actually, you can. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can be good without it, of course. We're not denying that, but you can also be good by just getting a tank, like getting a good tank. <laughs> imagine, I, I would imagine if I played a hundred games in the CDC, and you played a hundred games in the Defender, our stats would be completely different. I guess I'm, I bet. Yeah, probably. I mean, we would not have similar damage per games. We would not have some. I'm really bad at the Defender. Let's say win ratio. Let's say win ratio. I would guess yours would be higher than mine. Yeah. Maybe, so I think I win 60, 59% in my CDC. And then you play heavy and you win like 66, no problem. But yeah, yeah, like that's just the nature of heavy. I think that a lot, yeah, that's imbalance, you know? Um, so would you say that... Well, the defender also costs the more. The design of the game boils down and actually makes those that are actually good at the game, maybe someone is really good doesn't spam defender games and people still hate him because when they checked his stats because about everything about the whole design of the game because you have if you get a defender like we just said and you have your high win ratio and then people just assume oh look at him he's purple he probably pays to win he has a goal loaded he has all these tanks blah 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 
Yeah, and I think that's, I think that assumption is perpetuated by like some YouTubers, um, whether in I mean, it's it's obviously some of it's based in fact, but I think you mentioned confirmation bias earlier. Yeah, I think that can be the case because like, gold is so prohibitively expensive unless you want to be spending tons of money. Like you cannot sustain that lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. For a long time, you just can't. Right. I know I can't. It's even if I play clan wars, even if I play so many strongholds, I will not spam gold ammo in every game I play. No. Recklessly. Maybe maybe only your all tier ten games or something. In which case, well, that's another thing. The matchmaking forces. So I think it forces you. Yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> so weak spots, armor, maps. Map rotation, mm -hmm. um, matchmaking basically force you to spam. If you don't spam, you lose. You want to win. You want to be a good player. Then you spam premium ammo. People hate you because you spam premium ammo. And there we go. Yeah, I think that's the general... Um, yeah, I think you're right. And I, I think that a lot of this boils down... To, well, you mentioned the design of the game. I think that's true. Like... I think that Wargaming consistently makes changes to try to get people to spam more gold ammo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. They are, and they're very good at it, if I may say so. I don't think it's hard to do. I mean, you just you add know, an E5. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what we should do? We should maybe we should just hate, stop hating each other. If somebody spams gold at you, okay, he just spams. Okay, why don't we just start hating Wargaming in general until they fix shit? <laughs> yeah, well, certainly, and that type of attitude makes you better player. Well, like. Um, let's pretend you get clicked. Should you hate the person who clicked you, or should you hate Wargaming for adding RD? It's really easy to hate the person no, who clicked you. No, you shouldn't hate the person playing RD. Yeah. Even, okay, it's, a lot of people are frustrated about RD, but hating that player because he plays a class that is available from the beginning of the game is retarded, in my opinion. Yeah, well... <laughs> But you easier said than done, but I agree yeah, with you. It's easier said. You get frustrated, of course. Yeah. But when you think about it, it's the fucking company that puts the class and never listens to anything. Yeah. Uh, the player base uh, actually writes feedback. Yeah, so I, I agree. So, like, to. I mean, basically, I think that a lot of the hate that upper end players get is simply a result of, like, Gold's family and the fact that the game is pay Most to win. Them, yeah to a, to a yeah. degree like if you want to play tier 10s so okay i have an idea what if you instead of what if instead of saying pay to win what if we simply called world of tanks pay to play like <laughs> what if what if you said that the only way to play tier 10 games is to spend i don't know 10 euros i don't know what it is in euros five euros a month to buy, buy a premium account and own yeah. a premium tank that might be the case too but because tier 10 is not profitable in any case. Mm -hmm. I play with minimal amount of uh, premium ammo on my tier 10 mediums. I'm talking about mediums because they're fast. Fun. And most of the games are minus 40, 50,000 because of the big consumables, uh, the big repair kit, the big mech kit. Yeah. And you just lose a lot of money, even with a premium account. So yeah, it is kind of... If you want to play tier 9, tier 10s in a long run, you're going to need... All the help you can get, premium ammo, premium accounts, clans, shit like that. Yeah, I, I think a lot of, I mean, I think that a huge portion of the reason that people think World of Tanks is pay to win is because of how Wargaming markets themselves. They say it's like free to play. It's like, no, it, 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 World it's of Tanks is actually. not free to play. <laughs> no, it's actually not. <laughs> CSGO, comparatively, is free to play. You know, $15 entry free, then you don't pay anything. Like, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's free yeah. to play as, as far as I can, in my opinion. And many, and many other competitive games that are actually competitive. World of Tanks used to be, but then they managed to even... Then they even managed to screw up uh, esports. Uh, yeah. The World of Tanks esports thing. And they even managed to destroy that. I don't have no idea how they managed to destroy everything, but... Uh, kudos to them it's impressive but like how how would you let's let's pretend how would you solve okay so from wargaming's perspective how do they solve the mess that they created mess yeah i don't know maybe <laughs> better matchmaking more maps uh rng would have 
less impact on the game yeah for sure more variety uh, i mean in terms of game modes not just randoms and clan wars the front line was a big success why not make more of that or try something else or something with response because um i think a lot of people get frustrated because especially new players i've been watching new players and when they get caught out uh, and die instantly they get frustrated and they simply stop playing if you respawn you know oh i fucked up mm, let's try not to do that again mm -hmm. yeah maybe it, something like that possibly like frontline's a good game mode it's not optimized well so it's not perfect or anything. it's a good idea though um to solve the problem like if i was wargaming and i wanted there to be less hate between like two in, in essence factions of players almost it's like mm. there's uh how, do, how did you say it um casual players and then there's like yeah try hard players those those two groups kind of hate each other i would think that a huge portion of that just stems from the fact that the game the, uh, gold ammo and i think that to fix gold ammo spam they can you approach it everything. yeah well like tier 10 is one of the most unbalanced tiers right now in my opinion yes it is it is yeah simply because i mean a tier 7 tank versus a tier 7 tank there's no except like an e25 but you can deal with e25s in most you can you consoles. can but tier 10 let's say you're playing an amx 30 versus a yak panzer e100 in a corridor map right or, or an e3 let's say or an something e3. like that yeah, yeah e3 or bobject or, yeah bobject or mouse yeah or mouse or, i don't know hold down any heavy tank right like when was the last time you beat a mouse in an open field in a medium tank even though the mouse was it's very rare like the mouse can just drive into you because you can't aim and reliably hit his weak spots in a 1v1 in my no, opinion you can't you have to just keep running away you, you shoot yeah. at him run away because otherwise he'll spot you then you shoot at him run away and then the problem is the maps are so small that you can't really do that forever but mm -hmm. i i would think that the way to reconcile a lot of this justifiable like hate i guess is to f create the game in such a way that people don't need to shoot gold or just like fix remove yeah, gold well, ammo good players, <laughs> good players frown upon bad ones mainly because i don't know they're not so experienced at the game so maybe more tutorials or some help something something and for the casuals i would say an easier introduction to clan wars to get gold for premium accounts and shit and uh, i don't know more game modes to get more credits or something and i don't know so maybe they it balance each other out yeah for sure um yeah i or mean maybe we should just unite and stop hating each other and just start hating wargaming until they clean up their act and start doing good things for a change i mean i don't think that's easy to do though like yeah yeah so <laughs> if we wrap up what do you think um i so like to answer the question from my perspective i think that the reason there's a lot of like hate between factions i guess is how you could describe it uh is a result of like the fact that world of tanks actually pay to play if that makes sense yes um, it is. and i think wargaming could fix it by manipulating by changing maps so that people by changing maps and tanks right like super conqueror plays a super conqueror gets heat spammed and gets frustrated that he's getting heat spammed um maybe just make the super conqueror so that you don't have to shoot heat at it you know depend its roof weak spot or something like yeah. that type of trend perfect would be... example is m103 i guess or e5 has good weak spots yeah it can be a dangerous thing but if you or know wz5a 5a yeah if you could hit the commander touches reliably like maybe if tanks were more and it's accurate not that hard yeah the 5A. exactly so um i think it's doable i just don't think wargaming it's Isn't really it? easy yeah exactly it's really easy like just give tanks weak spots and people won't need to spam gold and then you'll get less i think a lot of the hate stems from gold spam so that's like my general opinion on the topic i have to agree okay well shall we call it here yeah <laughs> i'll hope i'll see you soon and maybe we could discuss more because I think we should do more videos like this until Wargaming finally gets it, what's actually wrong, and that people are getting fed up with this shit. Absolutely. I'm kind of cynical about them actually responding, but, um, you know, we can try. We can try, yeah. yeah. Okay. So thanks, man. Thank you.